Alright, Budget Magic, Displacer Combo, oh boy, lots of lands. Uh, Land of War Waste, go. Uh, ooh, that was a good draw. Let's play Elvish Visionary, draws us a card. Caves of Koilos. Hangerback X1. Jeez, now we're getting a few too many lands. Alright, let's play Caves. Play Catacomb Sifter. Eh, I don't think we're going to slam our Visionary into that. Not a bad thing to blink if we draw into a Displacer. Elvish Visionary for our opponent. So many lands. I mean, I guess that's what we should expect when we keep a six lander. Yeah, Visionary's fine. Play Visionary draws us a card. Ooh. Alright. Let's play planes and just silk wrap this hanger back. But I think we can attack with both since we have another visionary uh, if we draw a displacer to start blinking, even if our opponent traded off. We have our sneaky rogues passage too. Gideon's still pretty annoying here. We are to the point where if we draw a Displacer, we can start blinking right away. Cast it and blink in the same turn. Oath of Nyssa finds a Visionary. I am still not convinced that Oath of Nyssa is that good. But I am extremely convinced that Displacer is insane. I expect to play that card in a lot of different decks. Plays another Visionary, draws a card. Well, well, that's good. That means no Gideons or anything. Ooh, Cutthroat too. Um. Yeah, let's uh. Eh, how do we want to do this? Black. Let's do it like this. Play Zulaport Cutthroat. Play Lanawar Waste. Swing with everything. Gonna block the visionary. Not block the visionary. Alright, hit our opponent to 10. I feel like we're in good shape at the moment, even with a really land heavy hand. Nissa, Voice of Zendikar. Can be cast by spending mana as though it were mana of any color, thanks to Nissa's Oath. Makes a plant token. Alright, let's draw something sweet here. From beyond is kind of sweet. Hmm. Well, let's do some attacking first. We are not going to attack with the Zulaport Cutthroat, but we'll attack with everything else. And we're going to attack our opponent. I don't really care about the Nissa at this point. We're so far ahead that we're almost to the point of uh, just killing our opponent. They're going to trade off some stuff. We get some scries from Catacomb Sifter, drain a couple times from Cutthroat. Ooh. Ooh. Um, yeah. I think that is likely to win us the game. Even without the combo, we can just uh, sack off the tokens. So let's play From Beyond. Play a Caves and just pass the turn. Because we can attack for four potentially, then just play Brood Monitor, sack all our Scions to get Cutthroat triggers. We also might be able to combo off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
No, I don't. We can't quite combo off yet. Because we would have to sack the from beyond, but we can't do it now, or we will lose the brood monitor. So we could potentially shuffle off and or combo off, shuffle off, combo off in two turns. So let's just draw a brood monitor, get a scion. Double check this S. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can we combo off? Um one, two, three, four, five, six to play brood monitor. Then we need one, two to sack yeah. No. So let's play Rogue's Passage and attack our opponent with Catacomb Sifter and Eldrazi Scion. Opponent's gonna chump Catacomb Sifter. So, I, but I think we still win right here, unless they can kill. We're not gonna just sack everything yet, but we could, if they try to kill our Zulaport Cutthroat, just sack out our Scions. Uh, actually, we can just win right now, because even if they try to kill it, we uh, can just sack in response. Oh, we gotta put our triggers on the stack, but we can basically just sack five scions, drains for five. Uh, green white tokens. Let's bring in duresses, and maybe that's all. Silcrap does hit hanger back, but displacer also deals with hanger back. So maybe we'll cut a silcrap, go down and alter the brood and a from beyond, and just run it like that. Uh, yeah, this is reasonable. Visionaries and Displacer. Cards I like to see in my hand. Guessing our opponent has Gideon's. Cards I don't like to see across the table, but we'll see. Oath of Nyssa, turn one. Finds a Nyssa, Voice of Zendikar. Ooh, Brood Monitor. So we are drawing our combo pieces. So let's play Shambling Vents. So without disruption, if we can just use these visionaries to draw lands, we can potentially just win on turn, you know, six with the combo. Elvish visionary for our opponent draws a card. We will match their visionary with one of our own, also drawing a card. Land, uh, aha, sweet. So I guess we go Displacer into visionary plus Cutthroat and see if we can just win the game on turn six. Planes for our opponent and Nyssa. Casting it off two planes thanks to the Oath. Makes a plant. We will trade off if they attack. Abzan Charm. All right, let's just, uh, actually let's attack the Nyssa. Opponent trades off. Since they can like crusade their team with Nyssa and probably Gideon as well, I don't really mind trading off fairly aggressively. Because our creatures aren't going to get any better. Our Elvish Visionary is always going to be a 1 1. Yeah, we can blink it sometimes with Displacer, but their Elvish Visionaries will sometimes be 2 2s and 3 3s. Ooh, and from beyond? Uh. Hmm. They might have secure the waste. Let's attack Nyssa. See what our opponent does. If they have secure the waste, we can Abzan Charm. Uh, so. Yeah, I guess we're just going to play things. Let's play Elvish Visionary. Draw a card. And Zula Port Cutthroat number one. Pass the turn. Dramoka's Command fights our Cutthroat. Luckily we have another one. So that's not really too big of a deal. 7 to ultimate the Nyssa. Makes another plant token. Canopy Vista. Is this Gideon? Gideon. Aye. Alright. 
probably going to start making more tokens. Yep, makes a 2-2 two -two knight. Wooded foothills. Ooh, dress? Dress is sweet. How can we try to make sure we win next turn? Well, let's let's lead on duress, see what's in our opponent's hand. Hollowed Moonlight, all right. And two lands. So then we can attack the Gideon. See what our opponent does. I don't think we can guarantee a win next turn, no matter what we do. It's going to depend on us drawing something either way. But we can put ourselves in a position where if we draw an untapped land, we win. So let's play Zooport Cutthroat. Play Canopy Vista. So our opponent has two lands, so they're basically top decking a removal spell. And if we draw an untapped land, we have the Brood Monitor combo. Oh boy. Why do they need to crack that fetch? That's scaring me. Makes the plant token. Good news is we're at a pretty healthy 20 life. Emblems the Gideon. What, they draw another Gideon? Yep, another Gideon. Well, we know the coast is clear. Untap land wins us the game. If not, we could lose to the Nissa ultimate, though. Untap land? Oh, Brood Monitor. So they can ultimate Nissa, which will draw them one, two, three, four, seven. Draw seven? That's scary can't really keep it hmm there's no way we can really keep it from ultimating can we we attack with everything but then we just get blown out yeah I guess we got to just pass here and see what our opponent does oh we were so close and untapped any and untapped land away Well, I expect they're going to cash in this Nissa for seven cards. Seven life doesn't matter as much because we have basically an infinite damage combo. But seven cards is a lot of cards. Yeah, we'll take six for now. See what happens. Elvish Visionary. Alright, that's not too much of a threat. Come on. Keep tapping. You don't want to discard. Emblems Gideon. Oh, are you going to play another Gideon? Come on. That's exactly what we'd love to see. Oh, they're just going to pass and leave up a ton of mana. Um. Hmm. Well, I guess we can... Displace a token? This doesn't feel great, because it probably lets them kill our displacer. Or not. Well, there's the land. I mean... I don't expect it to work. What's our other option? Is just leave up mana and try to go for it next turn? Exile a couple things, play defense. Yeah, I mean, I guess we can do that. The problem is they could kill our Displacer. Well, let's try it. Let's see. They could also have Secure the Waste. May that might be their plan. Does this beat us? Ugh. I guess I should have just slammed the combo. With them drawing seven, though, you got to think they have a Dramoka's Command. Can we live through this is the new question. Another land. Goes to Attacks. Does some attacking. Well, let's... 
exile a knight token. They have three, six, nine, twelve. Right. How many are there? One, two, three, four. Well, I mean, I guess our best bet is to exile another token. Um, I guess a plant. And then just chump with our Elvish Visionary. And now we basically have no choice but to go for it. All right, I mean, do you have it? That's the question. Any sort of removal in this plan fails, but if they have no removal, then we get to win. Also, if they have Hollowed Moonlight, they win. All right. Uh, yeah, let's run it back. I guess Hollowed Moonlight does hate out this combo. All right, game three against Green White Tokens. All right, we'll try it. One land short of being able to play our entire hand, but it's not bad. So let's lead on, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter, Caves and Duress. Oath of Nyssa and Silk Wrap. Well, we're gonna take the Oath, since just Silk Wrap isn't too exciting. Their hand is not very good. We just wanna find a third land in our next two draw steps. What our opponent? Opponent apparently drew another Oath of Nyssa. Hooray. That is one of the most frustrating things to happen in Magic. When you dress or thought sees a card and your opponent immediately draws a copy. Maybe they'll whiff. What are the odds of that? Not very good. Probably everything in there. I guess they could have like Silk Wrap, Silk Wrap, Silk Wrap. Alright, Dem Protector. Yeah. I guess it's a card. Um, yeah, let's just play our Zulaport Cutthroat. Pass the turn. Gonna Silk Wrap the Cutthroat. On tap land? Ooh, Siege Rhino will be sweet though. We'll just pass here. Opponent's gonna pass. Well, we get to play a Catacomb Sifter. Get a Scion token. They didn't play the Dem Protector. They must be planning on waiting until they can flip it in the same turn. Uh, but we get to attack with Catacomb Sifter. Then we get to play Eldrazi Displacer and Canopy Vista. Feeling like we're in pretty good shape. Because if they play Den Protector with the plan being to flip it, we can just Silk Wrap, make them flip, and then attack with everything. We can also start blinking our Catacomb Sifter. Alright, there's Dem Protector. Alright, let's, uh, let's go with that plan. Let's Silk Wrap the Dem Protector. They can flip it, get back an Oath of Nyssa or land. Flips it up. I'm assuming, yeah, Oath of Nyssa. But we get rid of Dem Protector, swing with everything. Play this Sandstep Citadel, ship the turn. And now we'll probably just, there's the Oath, use the Scion to blink the Catacomb Sifter. Because we get the Scion back and we'll get a Scry out of it. Nyssa. Nissa isn't great when you're this far behind on board. Like, a 0-1 plants are not too exciting here. Our opponent really needs something... Yeah. That's rough. I think we might have this one. Especially considering the Siege Rhino and the Sidisi in our hand. Silk Wrap, alright. Uh, Displacer, well let's... 
do this, get a scry. Elvish visionary, one, two, one, two, three, three. But we will have the catacomb sifter token. Uh, yeah, let's, we can leave that on top, I think. And then we will just blink the catacomb sifter. Down goes displacer. But now we get to attack with both at our opponent. Blocks our scion. That was an odd choice. Uh, play Elvish Visionary, draws us a card. Another Displacer. Well, we're going to play Siege Rhino here, though. Uh, black, white, green, sack the scion. Actually, get a scry out of the deal. Ro oh, we'll keep that too, actually. Siege Rhino puts our opponent to five. We got Lethal on board next turn. They're going to need a really big draw. Even like a Gideon doesn't do it here. Does secure the waste do it? Nope. All right, we got there. Didn't combo off, but value to our opponent out. 